At the 2024 Australian Open, King Wen Jen reached her first Grand Slam final, only topped by an unstoppable Arena Sabalenka. But that's not all. Jen didn't just make waves in Melbourne, she also celebrated her breakthrough by clinching her first two singles titles in tennis back in 2023, marking her arrival on the global stage. Jen's promising results have led to comparisons to Li Na, the only Chinese player to ever win a Grand Slam. So is King Wen Jen truly China's next tennis sensation? King Wen Jen made history at the 2024 Australian Open. Her run started against Ashlyn Krieger. The 19-year-old American won the first set, but King Wen crushed her in the following ones to capture the win. And indeed she can. Then came the second round, with Jen scoring a straight set win over Katie Bolter. The Asian prospect didn't stop at that, with her third round opponent being a fellow compatriot, Yafan Wang. Jen took the first set, but Wang scored two break points to tie the match in the second. The third set was close until King Wen got the first break to win the match via tiebreak. King Wen's Australian Open run was truly historic and bolstered comparisons to legend Li Na, who won the Aussie Open in 2014. She met the young player after the third round match. Jen did not hold her excitement back. She just went to me like this, say, congratulations. I was feeling super happy to meet her and have the chance to talk with her because I never talked with her in person. That was feeling really special for me. King Wen highlighted the advice that she got from her legendary compatriot. She said to me, don't think too much, just keep simple. And King Wen did so as her round of 16 match was a lot easier with a straight set win over Ocean Godin to reach her career's second Grand Slam quarterfinals. Her opponent, Anna Kalinskaya. After three sets, the Chinese star's outstanding serve paved the way for her to make history again by reaching the semifinals of the Australian Open, the best Grand Slam result of her career. Kin Wen's semis opponent was qualifier Diana Yastremska. Kin Wen Jin had the chance to become the second Chinese player to ever reach a Grand Slam final, a feat only achieved by her role model, Li Na. Would Kin Wen live up to the stakes? Yes, and she did so in straight sets. Her final opponent was none other than Arena Sabalenka, who was yet to drop a set in the tournament and was looking to make history herself by winning the Melbourne Grand Slam for the second year in a row. Would Qin Wen Zhen write a new winning page in Chinese tennis history? Sabalenka was ruthless from the get-go, as she built a 3-0 lead in the first set, breaking Qin Wen. The world number two would win the first set at 6-3. King Wen Zhen fought back in the second one, but a double foul would reinstate the Belarusians' dominance. Despite Zhen's best efforts, Sabalenka was unbeatable this year in Melbourne as she broke China's number one player to steal a straight set win. With this being her second loss in a row to Sabalenka, will King Wen Zhen ever be able to get her revenge? After the match, King Wen Zhen stated that she needed to improve her game. However, after Zhen's semifinal match, the seven-time Grand Slam champion Justine Annan praised her progress. The fact Carlos Rodriguez has worked with her on the forehand, he tries to develop her game and give her as many weapons as possible. She doesn't have to stay on the baseline and she puts more volume into the forehand, which you don't see as much on the women's tour. For being the Aussie Open's runner-up, Qin Wen Zhen earned $1,725,000 and became the second Chinese player in history to make it to the World Top 10 as she rose to number seven. How did she make it here? Qin Wen Zhen's rise truly began in 2023. She started the year off with a bang by becoming a brand ambassador for Gatorade, an American sports-themed beverage and food brand. Zhen then had a great run at the Abu Dhabi Open, defeating the likes of Yelena Ostapenka and Daria Kostakina, both in straight sets. The up-and-comer would end up losing to Ludmila Samsonova in a three-set match. After that, King Wen Zhen went through a bit of a down period, suffering early eliminations in tournaments such as the Madrid Open, Roland Garros, and Wimbledon. The silver lining for Zhen during that time was her run at the Internazionale Biennale d'Italia, in which she made it to the quarterfinals, losing to Veronica Kudermetova. But Zhen would get herself back together and bounce back at the Palermo Ladies Open, a WTA 250 tournament on clay. She started by breezing through Sara Arani in straight sets without losing a single game. Then came Diana Pari, who proved herself to be a tough opponent, as Kim Wen needed three sets to overcome her challenge. Next up, the 20-year-old scored another straight set win against Emma Navarro, moving on to the semifinals, where she encountered Mayar Sheriff. A three-set epic ensued as Kim Wen benefited from a strong first serve and from her breakpoint efficiency to win. 
Then came the final as the young Chinese stood across from Yasmin Paolini. After another three-set battle, Qin Wen was able to get her first tournament win as a pro. The U.S. Open would prove itself as the breakthrough Grand Slam for the Chinese prospect. First came a straight set win against Nadia Podoroska. The Palermo champion moved on to the second round to face Estonia's Kaya Kanepi. Zhen dominated the first set, but Kanepi broke her serve twice to get the second one, with Qin Wen getting another comfortable 6-2 win in the decisive set and advancing to the third round to face Lucia Bronzetti. The match turned out to be another three-set battle as Zhen broke the Italian twice to seal the first set at 6-3. Bronzetti didn't back down and took advantage of Zhen's unforced errors to get the second set at 6-4. Qin Wen made a comeback in the decisive set, winning four consecutive games to conquer Bronzetti and advance to the round of 16. Her opponent was none other than world top 10 player An Zhabur. It seemed that was the end of the road for the 20-year-old, but Qin Wen had other plans as her service was overwhelming for Zhabur. The Tunisian player made a lot of unforced errors throughout the match, leading to a shocking straight set win for Zhen, who made it to the first Grand Slam quarterfinals of her career. Her opponent was soon to be world number one, Arina Sabalenka, whose serve was too strong for Zhen, who ended up not scoring any breakpoint in a straight set defeat at 1-6, 4-6. In October, Qin Wen would score two other major brand deals as she became a brand ambassador for McDonald's in China and also signed a multi-year partnership with luxury watchmaker Rolex. 2023 was Qin Wen Zhen's breakout year and that feat didn't go without recognition as she won the WTA award for most improved player of the year. But it wasn't a perfect year for Qin Wen Zhen as shortly after the US Open, it was revealed that coach Vim Fissett had unexpectedly terminated their partnership. It would later come to light that Fisset had gone back to coaching Naomi Osaka, who had announced her return to tennis. Keen Wen didn't talk lightly about the situation. He broke the contract and it's very immoral. This is his choice and I will respect that, even though this brings some harm to me and my family. I don't want to talk about that person right now, don't want to talk about him. But Jen managed to bounce back from the Wisset debacle as she went on to win the Zhenju Open, a hardcore WTA 500 tournament in her home country. To nab her second trophy, the 21-year-old overcame Maria Sakari, third-seeded player, in straight sets and went on to beat Barbara Kurchikova, seeded number seven in the final. An impressive run as Qin Wen only lost a single set in the entire tournament. Qin Wen Zhen's rise in tennis isn't just a story about triumph, it's a saga shadowed by controversy in China's tennis scene. The drama unfolded in November 2021 when Peng Shuai, a star athlete, accused a high-ranking official, Zhang Ali, of sexual assault on Weibo, only to vanish from public view as her post disappeared within 20 minutes. This bold move shook the world, leading the WA to pulling out of China, a country once on the brink of tennis greatness with up to nine WTA tournaments pre-pandemic. Fast forward to 2023, the WTA returned to China for financial reasons, despite the eerie silence over Peng Shuai's allegations, with her appearing in state media as if untouched by controversy. Amid this turmoil stands Qin Wen Zhen, a beacon of hope, the potential new face of Chinese tennis, walking a tightrope between stardom and the stifling atmosphere of censorship. Will she claim Li Na's legacy, or will the shadows of the past dictate the future of tennis in China? Sound off in the comments below.